Hello, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's Ms. Arador. And Ms. Guzman. I know we look alike today, don't we? <laughs> Great minds think alike. Uh, we are so glad um, to be back and we were excited to see our teachers and our students um, come back eagerly. Yesterday, on um, Thursday, was an exciting day. We had a spelling bee. It was kind of interesting, a little differently. Um, but the students did so well, and I want to congratulate Olivia Ye from fifth grade, who is our spelling bee champion, and our runner-up sixth grade justice. It was awesome. In fact, we were going through so many rounds, we had to pause the bee and move to another location because we had to start lunch. So uh, congratulations. We are so proud of all the participants. We were very impressed with all those great spellers. Yeah, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, upcoming, we have reading and math screening. So please, especially if you're virtual, that your child complete their reading screening assessment and their math screening assessment, okay? I believe the window is now. So please, if your teacher's communicating with you to complete the screeners, please complete those assessments. Do it. We use iStation and math inventory, and those screeners are very valuable information because it tells us which students are at risk of having reading difficulties or math difficulties. So that information is really helpful so we can do our best in working with your child. Um, also coming up, we have picture day, okay? No, we didn't have a picture day in the fall, but we will have one here in a few weeks. So details are below in the Jones Journal. Um, of course, in-person students will take the picture here and we're gonna invite virtual learners to come that morning and get their picture done. But don't worry, if you can't come, there's a way to make sure that every kid gets a portrait in our yearbook, okay? So we're gonna send information about that later on, but we wanted uh, you to save the date for January 27th for picture day, okay? I can't wait. Yeah. Okay, one more thing. Remember, we all know that COVID numbers are high right now, so it's important to stay healthy. What do we need to do, Ms. Arador? Okay, every day, families, we need your help with self-screening. Complete that, that survey that's emailed to you every morning so you can verify that your kids are symptom-free, that they haven't been in contact with anybody with COVID, um, and that they haven't been asked to uh, quarantine or isolate, okay? So please make sure that you're filling out that survey, that you're self-screening, and that you're doing all that you can to keep yourself and your family healthy, but also those around, uh, around them. It's important to remember that even during the holidays, during the holiday break, your child may have become, become in contact with someone that was COVID positive, we need to know that. Please communicate that with us. Yeah, so do not hesitate to call the school and you can uh, talk to the school nurse because sometimes, you know, you may be uh, a little confused about what the um, isolation or quarantine guidelines are. So don't hesitate to talk to our school nurse. Her uh, phone number and email is below in the Jones Journal as well, okay? So in 2021, we know 2020 was a tough year. But in 2021, I'm positive that we can make it the best year yet. Um, it's time to reprioritize and make sure that we can be our best selves um, and that we keep our uh, well-being and continue to work with us to make sure that um, we're not only keeping your students' well-being in mind, but also their academic progress, okay? So cheers to 2021. Woohoo! Have a great day. Bye.